What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick video for you. So in this video I wanted to talk about some of the differences between the desktop pro version and the online free version of SketchUp. Um, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course that I put together to basically help you take your SketchUp training to the next level. Um, I get into everything from basic SketchUp tools to some advanced tools and modeling tactics all the way into modeling for interior design modeling for layout, and then some photorealistic rendering. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to get some more in-depth SketchUp training, make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. So I've been getting more and more questions about this um, as time goes on. A lot of you may remember that last year SketchUp decided to move all of their free modeling software over to a web-based app while the pro version has remained a desktop app. And pretty much everything that I teach on this channel is more centered around the pro version, but I wanted to talk through some of the differences just to give you an idea of the capabilities of each one. And so to start off, when you go to SketchUp's website, what's gonna happen is you're gonna have a page that looks kinda like this. Depending on what time you watch this video, um, in the future this may look a little bit different, but generally speaking there's gonna be a button on the front page that says Get SketchUp. And so when you click the button on the front page for Get SketchUp, it's gonna ask you a question. And the question is if you plan to use SketchUp for professional work, personal projects, or educational use. And I'm not really gonna get into the educational use section right now. I'm gonna focus on the professional work and the personal projects. And which one you pick is going to determine which software you get directed to. So if you pick that you use SketchUp for professional projects, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to fill out your information and then it's going to take you to a download for the desktop version of SketchUp, which is SketchUp Pro. And that's going to come with a 30 day free trial. So you can use the Pro version of SketchUp for 30 days without having to pay for it. And then the other option is if you click on personal projects, then you're going to click next and that's going to take you to the web-based app version, which is the free version. And so I believe you may not need a Trimble account to download the pro version. You're going to need a Trimble Connect account, I think, to access the free version. So basically what that's going to do if you select the free version is that's going to take you to the web app version. And so that's, that's basically a version that lives inside an internet browser where you can actually fly around and do your modeling inside the browser itself. And so the first thing I wanted to talk about is you'll notice that between the pro version and the online version, they look very different. So if I open up the pro version, you can see how I've got a series of tools at the top and at the side of my page, and uh, you can open up a bunch of different toolbars in order to access the different tools. Um, and then on the right hand side of the page, you've got your tray, which is where all your information about your model basically lives. And you can move that around in the desktop pro version. Um, in the web-based version, they've kind of rolled everything up into these little toolbars on the side here. So it's, it's a cleaner interface. Um, you do have to go searching for some tools sometimes, but in this case, if you wanted to ac access, like let's say, let's say you wanted to draw a circle, you would just click on this little square and you can see how this pops up a series of different options for the different tools. And then you click on them and then you can go in and work with your tools from there. So um, that's really a personal preference thing to me. And then on the other, on the other side, all of your tray information is still over here, and it's a little bit different than the desktop version, so you'll have to do a little bit of trial and error in here to really kind of understand where everything is, but the interface is just a little bit different. And then at the top, you've got a very simplified interface that generally speaking is just for saving your model. So there's a few other things in here like adding locations some Trimble Connect stuff, but generally speaking, you're mostly just going to save your model up here. And so from a basic modeling standpoint, the web-based app is very similar to the SketchUp desktop version. So all the keyboard shortcuts are generally the same, like you tap, tap the R key for the rectangle tool, tap the C key for the circle tool. Um, your axis locking with the arrows when a tool is active are all still in there. Um, so a lot of that basic stuff is in there in both the free and pro versions. And they work in a lot of the same way. So like the follow me tool is still in there if you wanted to create a sphere. Um, the push pull tool works. Now some tools like the offset tool, I've found I can't do the single click 
moving your mouse and then single clicking again to set it you kind of have to click and drag for it to work properly and you can still type a value in while you're holding your mouse button down so I could type in 5 and hit the enter key in order to offset that 5 inches but some of it works just a little bit different in the web based version um, but a lot of the basic functionality is still there things like the push pull tool through objects all of those are going to be there in both the desktop and the pro version um, so you do start running into some things in the free version that are different than the pro version so things like keyboard modifiers seem to work about the same way so if I use the move tool to move this object and I tap the control key you can see how it still operates copy mode then I can type in like times five or divided by five or whatever create different copies so your keyboard shortcuts and everything like that work in a very similar way in this version so really where the difference comes in is there's some functions in here that aren't necessarily contained in the uh, free version that are contained in the pro version so like for example if I was to fly around things like um, creating animations with scenes you can do that in the pro version I have not been able to find an option for saving views within the uh, free version and that may be in there and I just haven't been able to find it but I've not been able to track that down so things like saving views with scenes aren't contained in the free version one of the big things is third-party extensions so we do a lot of videos on the channel about third-party extensions and kind of extending SketchUp's functionality you're you're not able to use those in the free ver the free online version at this point um, I would suspect that SketchUp is working on that functionality but I don't know that for sure um, so one of the other things to know is you can you can apply different materials to objects in this version in a lot the same way but if you were to come in here for example and the material library is still in here with things like asphalt and concrete and that sort of thing but if you want to actually customize those materials those are not available in the free version of SketchUp I will I will note that there's actually a third version of SketchUp that just came out called SketchUp Shop. And uh, SketchUp Shop allows you to customize materials. It also gives you access to the outliner. So the outliner is not available in the free version, but it is available in the shop version and the pro version. And so if you go to this URL, sketchup.com slash buy slash pricing, this will actually give you a pretty decent comparison between the free version, the shop version, and the pro version. So the shop version is a new version that they just rolled out that basically allows you to use the SketchUp for web version version to do some like export of different files you can import and export CAD files um, vector images raster images you can export images of things that you've modeled um, and you can like customize materials in here so basically this is kind of the middle version between SketchUp free and SketchUp pro that has some of that export functionality in case you're doing something where you actually need to export this out of the web-based version so the free version you get the basic modeling tools you get some cloud storage and you do have access to the 3d warehouse so if I was to go in here and I think the 3d warehouse if you go to the component section on the right hand side you can actually search the 3d warehouse and bring in models from the 3d warehouse into the web-based version so you definitely still have that functionality in here not sure why that brought that in all the way over there but so you can definitely bring in models from the 3d warehouse into your SketchUp free models and the other thing I'll note is you can also save your models by just going up and clicking on the save button and you can save this so I could say SketchUp free example and this will save this in the Trimble cloud and one thing that I think is confusing a lot of people is you actually need to go inside this folder in order to save this so you can see how the save here button isn't working you need to go inside this folder and then uh, find a place to keep this so if I was to click on just in models then I could save it in the folder for just in models and I could open that up a little bit later 
So that's how you save. You can definitely save your models in the free version. And then the other thing that's contained in the SketchUp Shop version that isn't in the free version is solid tools, which we've talked about a little bit in the pro version of SketchUp. So, and then the SketchUp Pro version hasn't really changed. You have all the SketchUp desktop tools, as well as you can use third-party extensions and you get access to layout. So as a general overview, um, a lot of this depends on what you're looking for. So SketchUp Free does give you access to a lot of the core modeling functions that have always been contained in SketchUp. So if you're just looking to do some basic drawing with like the push-pull tools and you just want to bring some things in from the 3D warehouse, it's actually just, it's a fine choice for that kind of basic modeling. So SketchUp Shop basically gives you the ability to take what you've made and export it in real world formats. So if you're doing something like woodworking or something like that and you need to be able to print or export, then that's probably a pretty decent option. And then SketchUp Pro is what it's always been. It has all the functions that we've always talked about within SketchUp. So based on that, you can kind of decide which one you want and what's gonna work for you. One last thing to note is if you decide that you want a free desktop version, SketchUp has left the SketchUp Make free version from 2017 available for download. So if you'd rather have a desktop version, it's a free version of the software, you're not supposed to use it for commercial use, but if you want a desktop version that's got a little bit more functionality, you can go to the sketchup.com slash download slash all and go down and download SketchUp Make 2017. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Um, I wanted this video to be kind of a reference for people that are trying to decide which version of SketchUp they want to use. Um, if they want to spend money on the pro version, that sort of thing. But leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, what you think about the differences. I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.